video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm just going to show you how you can save a custom shape to an SVG format in Photoshop. Now first thing to do, I'm just going to go over to the custom shape tool and I'm going to use it as a shape. Now I'm just going to use ring designs here, they're from a graphic extras, vast number of ring designs as well as lots and lots of other custom shapes available on the graphic extras website. Now I'm going to apply it just as a layer, so as a layer you can just see it over there, appear as a layer, just shape one. Now what you need to do is just go, and instead of using save for web or save as, you can actually go for extract assets. Now it's not the quickest to dialogue, sometimes it appears quickly, sometimes it takes forever to appear. And maybe this time it will be quick, maybe it won't. Right, just appear, extract assets. Now it gives an option for PNG and other formats, but Still taking a few time and it'll re okay. Now it's actually got it. I've actually can go over here and you can just see a little options here PNG 8 right at the bottom SVG. Now it's the only place that you can save SVG in, in Photoshop. You can actually, I think, get some plugins that can do the same thing. Of course, you can do it in Illustrator. So if you want to, you can copy the custom shape over to Illustrator and then save it there. Now once I've actually done that, so I've selected SVG, you see it's got a name there, and I'm just going to say extract to at this point. Extract, it will alter the name. Click OK. Right. And then it will come up with a little extract to a folder. Now I'm just going to go for here. Extract. OK. Now, that's been done, so it's just saved it, and if you just go over here, and this is the actual file that's been saved, an SVG file, it's a vector format file, so you can now just go to open with, and I'm just gonna go to, once that appears as well, so Firefox, I'll go with Firefox, I want to actually display the information, so select Firefox, and there you have it, you've got the SVG file. Now, once you've actually done that, you can actually go over here, and if you've got the developers, Thing, just web developer page source and it's a very very simple file and that's it just a very long path of action very long path as well as just to fill and style and defs right that's it hope you found it